Hey guys, welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and this is the very first episode of how to build Android games with Unity. Now, in this series we're going to use Unity game engine along with Android SDK in order to build some cool Android games. Okay, so let's get started. So the very first thing you're going to need is you're going to need uh, the Unity game engine that we're going to be using. You can check out the link to download this game engine from the description below. So you have to go to unity3d.com and just download Unity. Okay, so by only downloading Unity, you are you're not going to be able to actually develop for Android. So in order to develop for Android, you need something called Android SDK. So this Android SDK or Android Software Development Kit enables you to develop for Android devices using Unity Game Engine. Now, Android SDK requires another uh, piece of software. So Android SDK depends on the JDK or Java Development Kit. So before downloading Android SDK, you need to download the JDK or Java Development Kit. So let's get started with that. So the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Google and write download and JDK. So once you have done that, uh, just click on the very first thing you have got and this will take you to a page like this. So here you can see there are two options, either you can download the JDK only or you have to download NetBeans along with JDK. So for this tutorial we don't need NetBeans, you can download JDK only. So click on that and it will take you to a page like this. So from here uh, just come to the Java AC development kit. Okay. So uh, from here you can first of all accept the license agreement and then just download the version relevant for your system. As an example, uh, since I'm in Windows, I'm going to download the Windows 64-bit version. You can download either one of this or the Mac version. Okay. So once you have done that, uh, you have to actually uh, set up the path of the JDK so that Android SDK finds the JDK in your system. Now remember wherever you are installing this JDK. This is very, very important. In my case, I have, uh, I have installed the JDK inside my C inside my C drive and inside the Java folder inside my C drive and program files. So this is the default uh, actually the default um, position where the JDK is installed. If you have changed the path, uh, make sure to remember the path otherwise uh, it's gonna be a big problem. So so let me go ahead and go to C where I have actually installed my version, uh, make sure to uh, go to the place where you have actually installed it. So I have installed it inside C, Program Files, Java, JDK 1.8.0, and this is the play link of the place that we actually need. Okay, so you need to go inside bin folder, and from here just click on any of this, just right click. Uh, I don't know why is it become slow just right click and go to properties and from the properties we actually need the link uh, of the location of this place so just go ahead and select this location and we're gonna copy this position okay so once you have done that you have to come to your computer and now right click properties and from the properties we have to select the advanced system settings and from here uh, we need to go to the environment variables and from the environment variable we have to create a new environment variable so click on new and for the variable value just right click and paste the link that we have actually copied from there okay so the and for the variable name just make sure the caps lock is on and then name it java underscore home now make sure to name it the correct way, okay? Otherwise, Android SDK is not going to find this. So once you have done that, just click OK and press OK and press OK. So now the JDK, the path of the JDK is set up. So next thing we're going to do is we have to actually download the Android SDK. So in order to do that, all you have to do is go to Google and write download Android SDK. So once you have done that, it will give you a couple of links. Uh, it will give you a couple of links. From that, you have to just go ahead and click the very first link. So once you have done that, it will take you to 
a page like this. So this is the developer.android.com's SDK downloading page. Now it will tell you to download uh, Android Studio along with SDK but you are not going to do that because for this tutorial we we'll actually need only Android SDK. So you just go down below the page and from here you will see a section where it is in SDK tools only. So from this section you have to download either the Windows version or the Mac OS version along uh, according to your OS. So once you have done that, just go ahead and install Android SDK and make sure to remember the location where you have actually installed. As an example, in my case I have installed it inside my D Android folder. So this SDK folder is what we need. So we need the link of this SDK folder when we will start linking this to Yunji. So this is it for this tutorial. In this video we have actually downloaded the JDK and SDK and we have set up everything. From the next video we will actually uh, set up Unity so that it can locate the Android SDK and we can start coding. So thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next video we will actually start using Unity. So thanks a lot and have a great day. Let's move on to the next video.